in an accident again, Lord God, that you would bless them in a mighty, mighty way. Father God, that they would be encouraged in all of the things that are coming their way. And again, Lord God, we thank you. And we pour it all in Jesus' name. Amen. kitchen this is a place where we do um, wonderful meals uh, and we're, we're thankful that you are coming back once again being a part of this family um, if you are new viewers we'd like for you to come on in and be a part of the family by subscribing hitting that like button um, we welcome you today and we have a special treat today I mean it's my treat but I wanted to just share it with you um, again um, all recipes that um, that we make happen here on Lynn's channel, Lynn's Kitchen. And so today I'm inviting you to come along with me and, and be in the kitchen. We're going to do El Gratin potatoes with um, ham, okay? And so right now I've prepared my potatoes. They're already prepared. They're in. I cook mine. I, I don't cook them all the way, but I've prepared them in a way where I kind of like so the, the cooking process isn't, isn't long. So I peel my potatoes and then your, I peel them and then I cut them to about like that, that size, okay? And it depends on, again, the setting, the servings uh, that you'll be preparing for. Um, you can do it small. And again, this is a recipe that you can, you know, modify it. You could either, you could, you could add or you could subtract the things that I'm going to add to it. But this is the way I cook my El Gratin potatoes and I'm just sharing it with you today. So I want you to come along. The potatoes that are cooking, they're not gonna cook long. I only want them on there for about maybe two minutes. Just to tender them, just a little tender, I'll put a little tenderness to them, okay? And then we're gonna make our roux. So I have my pot on here uh, and it's hot. I can feel it hot. I'm gonna put my butter in because we're gonna start our roux. Um, we're gonna start our roux. Let that melt. Ooh. Okay, I want to get the milk down. Um, yeah, this is a wonderful recipe. Um, you know that. Oh, as a little girl growing up, I remember. Um, I remember like uh, for lunch and stuff, sometimes when we were going to school, we had homemade lunches, you know, uh, when we got in high school and everything. And it was just like being at home. Um, we didn't have like, you know, later on they got like, the little cafeteria, like fast food stuff, but we were growing up, oh, this was the best meal to have. Even at home and stuff, you could smell this cooking. So what I'm gonna do now, I got my butter all melted. I'm gonna add my flour. I'm gonna add that flour in there. Part of the roux. Add that and stir up a little bit. Stir that up a little bit. I want to get some of this flour taste out of it so we're going to cook it. Oh, we can get it out of there. Make a nice cheesy. Okay. And I like mine buttery, that's why I use a stick of butter. You don't have to, again, these recipes can be modified down, um, you know, because I understand that everybody, you know, don't have all the ingredients, so you may not want the ingredients, you know, in there. So that's fine. You do it, do, do, do it to your liking, you know. Okay. I'm just gonna do this enough to get this flavor out of there. Okay, I hope everybody's doing fine. I just, I love being on here. You guys encourage me so much and I thank you um, for your comments and things that come through. It's, it's a blessing. So, so. Okay, so I'm gonna get this. This is as bad as I want to. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my milk. Um, I'm gonna start off adding, I like, um, 
I like evaporated milk, so that's what I'm gonna add to this slowly. I'm gonna add that to it. And cook down a little bit. Come on. Yeah, so this is what you want. Put your milk in there. I like evaporated milk because it makes the things a lot of smooth, a little bit smooth and a little bit silky. So that's why I use that. I'm gonna stop with this thing and go ahead and hit luck. There we go. And you wanna cook this and you keep stirring it, okay? Because you don't want it to, um, you don't want it to burn, so you gotta constantly stir. Get those lumps up out of there. Get that butter in there. I'm gonna continue to use my, I'm gonna use that. Put that to the side, and y'all, I know I got my water, for those of you who are new, I keep soapy water and bleach water. I don't do without it, I have to have it. I clean up as I go. So the next milk I'm gonna put in there, I'm gonna use me some, um, some heavy cream. A whipping cream as they call it. And we, con we continue to stir, guys, okay? We continue to stir. And all that, as, it, as, as we love say, all that goody good, okay? I'm gonna make sure my lumps are in there. So those are the two types of milk that I use in mine. Sure, I get all of that. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, these meals were like, I mean, you know, back in the day, you know, in like the 60s and stuff, you know, that's, it, it, it just, it just was a hearty meal. And so I, I mostly cook, if you are new to this channel, I'm cooking like meals that, that remind me of my mom, the meals that she used to cook us when we were growing up. Um, and then I, 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 I combine my uh, meals in here also. And what I do for my mom meals is I kind of zipped it up a little bit because back in the day, they didn't have all of the products and things that we use now. Okay, so they have different herbs and spices and things that we can use now. When I was growing up, it was mostly uh, pepper and salt and onion. But some kind of way they made that, they made those dinners the best, oh my goodness. So I've got this in here, and it feels just about like I want to. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to begin to add my, my cheese ingredients, okay? So I'm using three different types of cheeses. And so my first cheese, right, will be my mozzarella, okay? So I'm gonna, we'll just pour that in there. A little bit of time, pour that much in there. I will have everything in description for you, okay? The ingredients that I'm using. We wanna get this in here, we wanna, we wanna make sure that we um, make sure it's not up too high. Kinda of cut it down, see how it's starting to, look at that. Gotta get it uh, softened and, look at that. You just gotta keep stirring it. Gotta keep stirring it. We know the mozzarella, yeah, look at that. So we just keep on stirring it. See that? I want it gooey. I want it, I want my, look at that. Okay. Get this stirred up in here really nice. You gotta keep stirring it because you don't want your, you don't want it to you don't want the stick. And maybe people, some people won't use the mozzarella, but but I I did. I'm gonna use it. So I want glue. And my next cheese is going to be Parmesan cheese. Put that in there. Get this stirred up in there with the mozzarella. Okay. Like that. 
because it's breaking up. I'm going to use the rest of it. Mmm. Okay. Just one long walk up in here. Then my last one is Cobra cheese. Cold is cut. Cobra. I think I'm saying it right. But um, it is in here. Get some of that in there. And yes, it's cheesy. This is Lynn's way of making it. And you may not have, you may not, you know, you may not use all these cheeses. You may go for something even different. And that's fine too. That's fine too. Let me get this all stirred up in there. Mm. Make sure you continue to stir it because you don't want it to burn. You really don't want it to burn. Okay. Put some more cover in there. It's a process to it, and that's okay. I love cooking. To me, it, it just soothes me. It's therapeutic for me um, when I cook because I'm my mind is, is not on anything else but this. Uh, all of my worries, or if I'm, never, I'm worried about anything, it all goes it goes away because I'm my mind is here and I'm in my, my I'm in my zone when I cook. So you know, this is comfortable for me. Um, cooking can be a challenge. Doesn't have to be, but it can be. Okay. Now the next thing I'm gonna add in here, mm -hmm. I'm gonna add me some sour cream. Yes, and I love my sour cream. Yeah, put that in there. Okay. No, I'm telling y'all that dish, that that soapy dishwater comes in handy. It comes in handy. Okay, so I'm gonna get this all stirred up and finished. And when I come back, um, that's when we're gonna come and we're gonna put the other ingredients in the, in the mix, okay? So let me get this and I'll be right back with you, okay? Okay, gang, and we are back. We are back. And I, I didn't mention it, but you can if you wanna unthicken it because it's gonna get thick as it cooks. You can add a little bit of water if you want to, to break up some of that. Okay, but like I said, um, everything will be in the description uh, when you see this, all right? So we, we have this, like I want to, that's my constant. Now I'm gonna add, start putting in my other ingredients. I'll put my, I'll put my dry ingredients in first, okay? So, put my salt, put that over there, get our pepper, gotta have pepper. Okay, put that right there. I have garlic. I'm putting it in there. Okay. And of course my onion powder. Let me use all of that. Stir all this up. Stir it up in there. Now what I'm gonna do, and I always have tester spoons. I'm gonna taste this to see if this is right about where I want it to be. Man, y'all. Mm -hmm. So good. As your as your as your um your cheese melts, take and and a medium low. And like I said, a, a constant stirring. Because you don't want your cheese to sit to the bottom and you don't want it you don't want it to burn uh because man once cheese burn it burns and it, and then you can't get rid of that that burnt taste so you want to make sure that you know you, you keep stirring and you know keep it on a keep it on a medium low my heat also so that's tasting like i want to so now i'm going to put garlic in here yeah y'all know for those who've been with me y'all know i like my garlic and y'all know I like my onions. So I didn't forget about my onions. Here go my onions. Oh yeah. I had them onions in there. Yeah. 
And usually, you know, guys, I saute, but this time I don't have to saute. It's, it's just something about not sauteing them for this. And like I said, you can choose to, you can even use, you can use green onions in here if you want to. It all depends on how you would like it. I know some, some recipes are more simpler than this, but this is just how I like it, okay? So I have my potatoes on a little boil. I took them off um, and I, I um, put cold water on them because I didn't want them to, to fully um, you know, cook because they have to take their time. And this is turning up. Oh. I'm gonna taste again because now since I got my onions and stuff in there. See if there's something else. Okay. Guys. Woo! Really good, y'all. Really good. So this is the consistency that I want in there. Okay, I'll be right back with you, okay? Okay, we are back. This process may seem weird to you, but this is how it works for then, okay? So we got our sauce. Look at that. That looks great. And I did tell you that it was ham, right? So here's our ham. I'm going to put my ham in here in the mix. I'll get it all mixed up in there. Mm -hmm. We like meat around here, so we're just going to mix it all up in there, okay? Mix it all up in there like that. Okay? And, you know what, I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and put my potatoes in here. So, and see how much we can mix it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, it works like this. It works fine like this. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Because it works fine like this. Look at that. Okay. And that's how you get all of that combined in there, because there's no other way. Okay. I may have a few left, but that's okay. And here's my dish that I'm going to use. Okay. 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 Now, how are we going to do this? I'm going to get it in there. Okay. Can you see that? Let me get this spoon out of the way, because it's just more me. This is how my mama used to do it. Just dump it in there, girl. She said, just dump it in there. Okay. Okay. Yes, it can be messy. I will agree. Okay. Just all spread it in there. And we're going to, like I said, again, we're going to, everything is incorporated. So, again, we're going to let this bubble up and get brown okay and we'll let it cook like i said everything's going to even and it'll bubble up and let it cook for about an hour okay about an hour and then i'm going to be back with you all right so be back with you within an hour okay and guys we are back this is our final product it's out the oven I had to let it cool off and it's still kind of hot. But here you have it, a ground potatoes with your ham in it. Um, and of course, you know I can't. I gotta try some. Okay, we can't get away with that. But I look at the cheese on there. Oh, 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 oh. oh look at that. And I did manage to get a piece of ham. Okay. Oh, it's hot. Oh my goodness. And the smell and the aroma in this house. Oh my goodness, y'all. Here we go. Turn out to be a potatoes are cooked just right in here. Love it. Let's see. Hmm. I could do a little dance for y'all right now. But you could, I mean. Potatoes are cooked just right. You can taste the ham in it. The flavoring is excellent. And oh my goodness. Excuse me, woman. Guys, it's good. It is so good. Look, thank you for tuning in.
Guys, try this recipe and give me a comment on it. I love your comments. If you can, try this recipe. And again, like I said, you can modify a lot. You don't have to put everything I put in here. Do it to your taste. Um, thank you for tuning in this week. I'm glad to have you all the time. And I want my family to expand. So guys, you can help me out by hitting that subscribe button. Give me a like, give me your comments, and hit that blue, that, that, notif that notification bell so that you can be, um, you, you, you can be up tuned in the, the coming videos that we have. We are so glad to have you. We love you and we thank you for, for coming in, tuning into this channel, Lance Kitchen. And once again, as always, we will see you next time on Lance Kitchen. But for now, bye-bye.